US taxpayers outraged as Meg filed for unemployment benefits to California authorities, lazy grifter. After being branded some of Hollywood's biggest losers, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's prospects have been called into question by a royal expert. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been warned about future projects after the couple were branded some of Hollywood's biggest losers by Tinseltown's showbiz bible. Late last year, The Hollywood Reporter released its biggest winners and losers report, with Meghan and Harry falling on the wrong side of the list. The publication called the Sussexes' Netflix biography and Prince Harry's spare whiny, while claiming the couple's brand is a sanctimonious bubble, just begging to be popped. It said a South Park episode that savaged Meghan and Harry was the pin. More recently, Meghan and Harry were bashed at the Golden Globes by host comedian Joe Coy, and the string of public mockery has led royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams to brand the couple failures in Hollywood. Mr Fitzwilliams said, It isn't clear what future projects they plan. Archwell's accounts were very disappointing. They lost Spotify. Meghan's WME agency has produced nothing. So they look like losers and Hollywood doesn't like failures. In November last year, Meghan Markle hinted at big projects that the Sussexes were working on, but so far nothing has been made public. Currently, a source close to an insider revealed that Meghan filed for unemployment benefits to Californian authorities amid the Sussexes' crisis. Even some of the documents leaked on the internet showed the Duchess's name on them. It seems unlikely she'd be collecting unemployment since, as far as I'm aware, she's never been employed in California since her return. From January the 1st, 2023 to May the 6th, 2023, Charles's coronation, she did nothing but hide under a rock throwing out puff pieces of her will she won't she attend the coronation, zero employment. Although the source said the application has been submitted by Meghan, the local government certainly didn't approve Meghan's case, who had 11 shell companies to launder money. They won't spend another penny of taxpayers on this scammer. She'll qualify only if she was on the payroll of a company in California for a certain number of months. If she was selling a product, service, book, movie, TV show to a corporation, doesn't count as employment. They won't spend another penny of taxpayers on this scammer. Her employment status since returning to California has been self-employed. Self-employed people pay nothing into state and federal unemployment insurance. The thing is that Megan thinks she's working so very hard. Pap walks, photo shoots, brainstorming, planning, scheming, crashing events, fake PR releases, pretending to be famous, lecturing Harry, bossing him around, telling him how they're going to be rich and famous. A local to Express newspaper here in America were not impressed by their titles. Harry is a high school graduate with no skills, so he has nothing to offer. Meghan is 47, past prime for leading ladies, producers and directors are a dime a dozen in Hollywood. They have nothing to offer and were tired of the victim card and their stories about the royals.